Okay, so hey everybody, I'm back. Um, now it's time to do the wig look and the makeup. First, I'm going to start off, um, before I put the wig on, I'm going to use this um, product that I've been using for a while. It's called Black and Sassy um, Style Smoother. It's um, really good for your sides, especially for people who have short hair. So um, let's get started. I use a um, nail brush, actually, which is this little red one right here. And I just put, like, not that much, but put, like, a dollop on the end of the um, brush. And then I actually just get my sides and smooth my sides up so that um, my sides look really good. It's okay if you use, um, if you get it on the stocking cap, it doesn't really matter because I'm not putting any glue or anything on this. I'm just um, going to be doing the little clips. So I'm probably going to have to move my wig cap back a little bit, but it's okay. So now that my sides are all smooth and ready to go, um, get the wig. And the wig actually came out really nice. Like, look at my curls. My curls are amazing. They're all good, and I don't have no nap frizzles at the bottom. It's just, it really came out nice, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to strap the bra clap in the back first. Put that on. Try to fit it to my head. I'm going to be actually looking in the mirror so I can see. So you guys can hopefully still see me. Strap on the one in the back first. And then get the one clip on the side. Push it in. Then get the other one. And all you have to do is push the stocking cap back a little bit. And then push that one in. And even though it's not the natural color of my hair, it doesn't really matter. Because it's going to blend just fine. You can move this part up a little bit. I've already removed the lace and stuff. But it could just lay right on my forehead. As long as it's flat. Then, okay. And now for the makeup. Um... First thing I do when I start my makeup is I usually um, put a little bit of moisturizer on my face all over. And then I use this stuff right here. I get it at Macy's. It's called The Present. And what I do is I shake it up really good. Put just like a little um, pea size amount on my hand because that's the best way to apply your makeup. And then you get a little... Um, I use Armani brushes, Armani and MAC brushes, but neither here nor there. Um, you get your, I use Dream Matte Mousse makeup mixed with Armani cover up. And I just put a little bit of one color on there along with the um, Armani spray pump. And I just put it into my hand. And um, I mash it together like that so that it is mashed down on your hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mash it out on my hand. And then I start doing my coverage. So I start up under my eyes. And bring it all the way down. All over my little imperfections. I'm not really one of those people that does um, full coverage. Only because I don't like all that makeup on my face. But, um... I will cover my cheek because that's where my imperfections are. So, um, yeah, I try to cover that up as best as, best as possible. Now, with um, with this um, setting cream that I showed you guys called the Present, you're supposed to let it dry. So that, hold on, I'll be right back. I need to get a paper towel. on that brush see you don't need all that so I needed to wipe some of that off anyway so you just keep smoothing it hey Jordan you're okay 
smooth it all over your eyes and the top part. That's what I do because I like to be the same color on my cheeks that I am on my eyes. And I just smooth it around. My little red spots down here. I do that too. In the corner of my eyes. Let it set for a few minutes. So since I'm doing a tutorial, I'm really not going to do that. Wipe around your nose right here because I actually like my bridge and I don't want it to look all jacked up. So um, I take it away from my bridge. And then I'm going to get the um, MAC brush. I forgot what number this is, but it's the big fluky one. And I just blend it in really good on my face. Under my mouth and all that. Over my eyes. Just to get a real good blend. If you don't blend your makeup, you will look cakey. It'll look like pancake batter on your face. I don't think nobody wants to look like that, so you got to take your time and do it right. Okay, so next, um, I'm going to get into the eye color. This is the MAC, um, what is this, the cream color base. It's called Pearl. So I'm going to add a little bit of that over my eye, just in the corner, and over a little bit. And then I'm going to use my MAC Pod. Um, this color right here is actually, um, I believe it's called Sandstone. So I'm going to get my 217 brush, MAC, and I'm going to brush it over very lightly. You don't need to put a lot because it is daytime. So you can use this as a day or a night makeup. It's up to you. But I want it to be really light because, like I said, I'm taking my grandma to the grocery store. And I don't want to be looking all crazy in the daytime with my Nana going to take her to the grocery store. So, I don't need to be looking crazy. Smooth it out, smooth it out, smooth it out. Um, the next color that I'm going to use is in Bark. And I'm going to use um, my little smaller brush. I don't know what number this is, but I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to put Embark, like, in the corners. Just to tone it down a little bit. And then you blend all that together. If my camera happens to run out of time, then I'll be back to make part two. So, just keep blending that all goes together good and then I'm going to get my um this is by Revlon color stay lip liner I mean eyeliner excuse me shake it up a little bit and then I'm going to put it on my Just a real cute thin line. And then I'm going to be using um, Smashbox um, Bronze Lights. It's called Sutton Matte. So um, I'm going to go ahead and with the same brush that I used to um, filter out my, my powder, I'm going to just put 